Ah. Hi, I was. Uh, good evening, good morning, wherever you uh, you guys are. Welcome uh, to one of many uh, online webinar series that has been organized by the Sri Lanka Tourism Board and so Sri Lanka uh, showcasing Sri Lanka's um, natural world. Um, today we'll be traveling to the mystic jungles of, of, of the Singaraja rainforest. And to speak about it, we have um, two very, very senior, very, I would say, experienced um, people on board um, to speak about the singer of the rainforest. We have Professor Sarah uh, from the University of Colombo. Um, he, he has over, um, I, I would say, he is probably the most, most experienced person to talk to you about the uh, singer uh, function of its place, how its birds and animals and all are. So we have Professor Sarah Kotagamo with us. So, uh, Mr. Vimukti Viratunga who is a senior biologist who has also done, uh, who's also got a vast uh, experience um, with, um, uh, I have been working and learned a lot of him. I think a lot of things that I know um, on my knowledge and on my some of my photography experience all all, all comes from Mr. Vimukti so I think we're going to have a very good conversation I think people are going to learn a lot about Singaraja on and on why to visit and when to visit and so many things. So to get things started off, I would like to switch to uh, Professor Kotagama. Um, sir, would you just enlighten us on a little bit of the history of Singaraja, the conservation history, and there's a, there's a very, very unique story of success uh, that comes from Singaraja. Um, so sir, would you please go ahead and, and, and talk us through this, this wonderful success story of conservation and then the history of Singaraja? Go ahead, Professor. You're, you're on screen. Or oh, have you lost uh, Professor Kotagama these days? Uh, 
with all this free being a Friday, I think everyone's on the internet. I think hope everyone's on the internet watching this. Um, Mr. Vimukti, maybe you could uh, step in and. Yeah, if, uh, can you hear me, Chandra? I can hear you clearly. I think we've got a bit of technical difficulty with uh, Prof. So until Professor gets online, if you would just uh, want to keep the conversation going and speak a little bit about Singharaja. Um, maybe just brief yeah. history, so then Professor, when he comes back, he can. Well, Singaraja has a Go ahead, very, um, very uh, special story because uh, it was uh, born, and then um, then it sort of uh, stopped in 1977 with the change of the government, and then uh, became somewhat protected forest, and then later on uh, it was uh, identified as a, a national wilderness heritage area, the only. Uh, forest that is in that category and then um, with the, the more research and more information filtering in, uh, they upgraded into a, into a world heritage. Uh, from, uh, are you connected? Like uh, uh, so, uh, so in a way, uh, so I can see you in three. Scientists heard what Vimukti was just saying. I can start from the logging view. And then, uh, and then oh, no, became he's... A somewhat a global heritage now. Or, um, uh, there we go. We have... it's... Continue, uh, I... Mr. Vibhuti. I... Oh, Professor, you're there. I can hear you. Yeah, but I something says host disconnects me and then wanting me to connect. Uh, I don't know who the host uh, is. Good. Yeah, no, you're good. So, just, just go on, uh, Professor. Let's go on with the conversation. Speak about uh, okay. I just heard the that Vinukti was just mentioning about the initial stages of the forest of Singaraja. I think it is one of the most successful stories that we have with respect to conservation uh, action by the communities, uh, the Wildlife and Nature Protection Society, uh, along with Mr. Hoffman, who was the president at that time. Uh, with a lot right. of other people, and I think I should recall right. the names of Virat Dimel, uh, Pat Decker, Irangani Singha, she is still around with us, and then all of these people, uh, Nihal Fernando, and many, many others got involved in the whole process of trying to conserve the forest. Uh, but the result was that there was a commission of all right. George Rajapaksa and which had for the first time i would say real scientists and of course they came up with something stana which everybody was uh, sort of uh, surprised they said there is no good or there is no evidence for or against logging so you can understand for or against logging, there is no good evidence, which means stand still. However, the possibility was a big election and there was a landslide victory for the new government that came in. And one of the priests who was in the most uh, campaigning, Nelue Gunananda from Gaul, Road to the okay. I think lost professor again. 
technical difficulty. If you're there, you can pick up uh, less, I think, the concept uh, and the people behind it. Um, if you would like to mention a little bit about um, what the, the the science was behind it, uh, that would that would be uh, grateful. I think people will learn that science plays a major major role in conservation. Yeah, because once the once that uh, report came out from the George Rajapaksa uh, Commission, saying that uh, there is no um, what you call uh, the, the what you call the justification for or against timber felling. So that means you don't have enough information about Singara. So that was the okay. uh, the bottom line. And then, uh, fortunately, the 1977, uh, there was a government change. And all these right. conservation groups uh, in 1977 uh, went to, the, to and, and, you know, presented the case to the new newly elected government. And of course, in Sri Lankan situation, okay. uh, that's the case when there's a new, newly elected government. They are trying to look at what the previous government has done and try to right. uh, overturn that that direction, that directives. So um, fortunately, that has happened almost overnight. Uh, and then, um, and then uh, they have immediately stopped the forest logging in Singaraj, and then asked an Indian yeah. company to pack their bags and. And, and go home. So then, okay. um, of course, then there was a problem of, of lack of information, lack of uh, information, lack of scientific uh, data on Singaraj, so that all the research right. started to, uh, to go, uh, you know, started to, they have started their research work in, in Singaraj, uh, mainly uh, Professor uh, Gunatilaka and uh, Mr. Sa uh, Professor Savitri and Nimal Gunatilaka went in there. In uh, because they were okay. already working in the Panelia peripheral forest area, so that uh, and then the Professor Kotagama and uh, uh, people uh, went in and then started uh, various kinds of, of studies, uh, both uh, flora, uh, fauna, uh, species, small uh, um, species like small uh, mammals, uh, mosquitoes, and many things. So then, uh, interesting, it's, it's gradually started building uh, a good database on Singaraj so that uh, later on those data has uh, shown us that it, it is in fact a uh, uh, bi biological treasure trove uh, not only for Sri Lanka right. but also for the rest of the world that is how it became uh, a world world heritage so um, so it's right. the first uh, very first natural world heritage heritage which was declared uh, by the UNESCO uh, in Sri Lanka, so that is uh, uh, the some sort of a uh, uh, story uh, at the very early stages of of Singapore. Right. So that 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 really goes to show that how how important science and how important a good good set of data it is to for conservation, and and which I mean the conservation which has led to let's say the tourism value of of, of the said Singapore because we are we're we're a bit all focused on tourism. Uh, because this is for the the tourist boat. So, I mean that that success story has led to a fantastic place for people to go and visit uh, and see this. This it's, it's it's unique. It's 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 the only place in the world that it is. that you get a place like this in Singarata. Um So, Mr. Vivekti, I think Professor Kotagama is having a little bit of technical difficulties, but let's keep the conversation going. So, if you would like to speak to the people, let them know about what the physical features of this place is. I mean, it we we know it's when we say Singaraja, we know it's a rainforest, but there's there's so much more so to it being a rainforest. Oh, Professor Kodagama is back. Professor, we'll get back to you. Mr. Vimukti has a little, a few things to say about the physical features, and then we'll jump right back to you. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Can't we have a separate? Go ahead, Mr. Vimukti. Okay, Vimukti, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know what no, I no, said. No, no. You, you... Did they no, hear Professor, because you something was not showing completely. correct my screen? Okay, right. <laughs> no, you so got Vimukti can start. Cut off completely. Let Mr. Now, uh -huh. start. The Singaraja, uh, as as we all we all know that, yeah. Go ahead, Prof. So, Mr. Vimukti, you go ahead. Prof will jump in. We'll get to Prof okay. in in five minutes. Okay. Uh, so the as as we all know that Singaraja is the the largest rainforest tract in in Sri Lanka. Um, I would consider that it is uh, the last hope for 
of its own uh, biota, biota because all the other rainforest patches have become very small islands. So, um, you know, then there's no continuity uh, between these forest patches. Obviously, there are a lot of reasons for that. Uh, there are a lot of commercial plantations have uh, started increasing in the Vedic zone, um, especially tea, rubber and coconut. And also a lot of townships have built in between all these forest patches. And all these small forest patches became isolated and became smaller. So this is Singaraji is the largest uh, rainforest tract, uh, which is covering about 11,870 um, hectares. And uh, so it is basically uh, bordering in three different districts, uh, largest portion in, in, in the Ratnapur district and uh, Gohal, um, followed by Mata, uh, there's a small, uh, small uh, portion is in, in the Mahathara administrative district. So the entire forest is, is to the Rakwana Mountains. Rakwana Mountains means uh, in Sri Lanka there are three mountain ranges. They are very important uh, mountain ranges.